there, I'm Lynn Nye, future anesthesiologist, here with the Stanford AIM Lab at the 2015 Saul Schneider Conference in San Francisco. I have the great privilege of being here today with uh, Dr. Robert Geiser. He is the president of the Society for Obstetric Anesthesia and Perinatology. Dr. Geiser, it's such a pleasure to talk to you today. Hey, Lynn, it's great to meet you. <laughs> great I, to meet you. I have a funny feeling we saw each other sometime before. We did. <laughs> when was that? I, you just look so familiar. <laughs> we actually met on the interview trail. I'm currently applying for a residency. That's right. <laughs> now I remember it. That's great. You came a chance to see my program because yeah. I'm actually from the East Coast. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so this was a long distance to come. It um, was but just uh, you know, for a great opportunity. For sure, University of Pennsylvania is a great place. Great. I just wanted to get your perspective of Saul Schneider over the years. I know you've been involved with various committees and now that you're president, um, how have things changed for you in your role um, on the committee here? So um, it's been interesting to watch the evolution of the Saul Schneider meeting. It's a, an outstanding opportunity. I think the one thing that is unique is while it has evolved because the practice of anesthesia has evolved, it's remained true to its values. And the key core value that this meeting was established was to set up a place where updated obstetric anesthesia could be provided to the provider. And I think that was the key thing. So when you listen to these lectures and the talks that are going on, everything is extremely clinically related. So the uh, key core value that was established that any anesthesia provider, nurse anesthetist, anesthesiologist who practices on a labor and delivery could come to this meeting and leave here very update in the current practice of obstetric anesthesia. So how does Saul Schneider differ from the larger SOAP conference? So I think the big thing is here, what um, Lynn is referring to is the fact that we have two meetings. So SOAP sponsors its annual meeting, which is about two months from now, and that is a very large meeting, and it presents uh, the science of obstetric anesthesia. So people will be practice, um, discussing their current papers um, and their current research. And so it's a great opportunity to learn the science but um, it might not be clinically applicable at that point. We're still at that translation phase. Whereas here, everything is really geared toward the practitioner. And it has to be updated, it has to be evidence-based, it has to really come away saying, I am going to change my practice for the better in terms of techniques, patient safety, and communication. What are you looking forward to moving forward with the rest of the year and years to come uh, in SOAP? So, I, you know, SOAP has done an incredible job this year. Um, we are going to be starting an East Coast meeting in 2016, so we're really excited about that um, because if you look at the attendance here at Shaw Snyder, which is superb, and as you heard during the previous speakers, that hum in the background, which, you know, is pretty exciting because that was just people talking about the meeting and you heard the excitement. We want that to go to East Coast because a lot of people, attendees here, are mainly you see are extremely West Coast oriented, and we want to make sure we have that there. We're going to be starting a new starter grant, and uh, you know the society continues to move forward, and it's just a great time to be um, uh, president. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I wish you the best with the rest of the conference, and um, looking forward to hearing more of your talk later today. Also, great, thanks, Lynn. And I and I also think we also have to say uh, thanks to Lynn, who's here um, this week. Um, what she's not hiding is this is the week of Match Week, um, so she'll be finding out her future. Uh, I think in what four days? In a week, yeah. Uh, in four days, we find out if we matched, and then in a week, we find out where. Well, uh, there's no question Lynn will match. Uh, we have no <laughs> doubt. Hopefully, uh, we'd love to see her at Penn, but we want to make sure she's at the place that's her first choice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Geiser. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Nice to meet you. It's great to see you again. Take <laughs> you care. You too. With the Stanford AIM Lab, my name is Lynn Nye, signing off. Mm -hmm.